Hello everybody, I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Toro Messages. We're going to be doing a single love reading for the Virgos. Um, I already shuffled the cards. I already meditated on the energy. You already know what it is. So let's just see what's going to come out here for our Virgos in love. Okay, what can we tell our Virgos coming up for them in love? We got Pursuit. What can we tell our Virgos coming up for them in love? Okay. We got secrets in present, okay? Then we have toxic, unhealthy, poison, delusion, nasty behaviors here at the bottom. All right, Virgo, for this energy, I'm getting that there is somebody who's pursuing you in love, okay? I asked for Virgo singles. So this is definitely somebody um, chasing you here, hunting you down. But there is some type of love affair, keeping things um hidden not opening up there's some type of illusions and secrets here really the seven of swords card for me in this present moment okay so let's unpack this energy okay let's unpack this energy i'm trying to see i feel like i'll use this for deck here all right can you tell us about this energy pursuing the virgos tell us about this energy pursuing the Virgos what can you tell us about this energy pursuing the Virgos please we got the nine of wands can you tell us about this energy pursuing the Virgo please we can you tell us about this energy seven of pentacles what can you tell us about the energy pursuing the Virgos please Okay, the energy that is pursuing you here, Virgos, with the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. First up, a lot of wands here, okay? We got seven, nine, ten. Okay, we got seven, seven, nine, ten. All right, there's like progression here, but also like um, some type of ending to a cycle or coming to end or you ended a cycle here with this person that's pursuing you here you definitely block this person in some way okay here with the nine of wands this could really represent okay no I asked about the energy pursuing you Virgo so this energy is some type of wounded warrior again you could have still blocked this person um, but they are really standing uh, for what they want here this is really giving me the perseverance in the pursuing part in this this person is persistent even if they are wounded from what happened what taken place in the past they still want to stand on this energy and they still want to invest here with the seven of Pentacles. this person wants to put in work Work into this relationship and that's why they're persistent that's why they're resilient here even through I feel burdens responsibilities stress in their pursuit I feel like this person with the seven of wands wants to fight off okay they want to fight off anything coming their way you feel me they want to stand ground they want to stand ground set off set boundaries towards anything and stand their ground here and pursue you in any way here okay this is the energy coming towards you can we get can we get some cards to represent this energy pursuing virgo can we get cards to represent this energy what is this person's energy their zodiac sign um characteristics that we can tell virgo about this person what is this person's energy Okay, we got the Six of Wands in the reverse. Okay, the Six of Wands in the reverse flew right over to the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like this person, Virgo, isn't um, isn't having victories in their work. Isn't having victories in what they are putting investments in. This person is... Uh, goodness, with the Six of Wands in the reverse, this person might be going through... Uh, feelings of being overlooked like their their investments are being overlooked like they won't get victory in what they're doing here they they're they're in some type of lack mentality here okay and with the two of swords they definitely are in decision because of their what they have invested in is not going well for them okay can we t get virgo cards on how to represent this energy who is pursuing them we got the four of wands energy who is pursuing Virgo how can we clarify 
classify this energy. Wow. Wow. Okay. We got the Ace of Pentacles that shot out in the Sun card. Okay, this could be a Leo. A lot of wand energy. A lot of uh, fire element energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. And then we have the Sun here really representing more um, Leo energy. But we'll pull a Zodiac. We'll find out who this is. Um, I feel like this person is seeing that they're not having um, victory here with you. This is putting them in some type of indecision about um, Four of Wands, the relationship here with you, their home place with you, their stability with you here. Um, and this has really brought in some type of clarity that they want to bring in a new beginning. And this is why they're pursuing you, Virgo. This is why they're pursuing you. But let's see let's see what this uh what the secrets are in this relationship. We can leave that there actually. We'll just pull another deck after this. What is the secrets here in this relationship? between this person who is pursuing Virgo and Virgo what are the secrets okay okay the secrets the knight of wands came out in the reverse child it did flips acrobatics um gymnastics all the way across the room so I feel like this person the secrets are especially with this love affair the secrets are that this person with the knight of wands energy is definitely somebody who is non-committal here um definitely somebody who has fears around commitment this person runs from commitment they are impatient and they're unstable in relationships and I feel like they may um, hide this inside they may keep this inside they may not open up about who they truly are at heart and they may put um, some illusions up to pretend to be this knight of wands energy in the in the upright where they are yeah, they're reversed honey they are reversed here okay um, what can you tell Virgo about the secrets We got temperance here. Okay, again with the um with the unstable, this impatient energy here, and then we have temperance here. It's like they have they're they're trying to hide it secret, keep the illusions that they're they're patiently working and waiting, they're patiently hustling, but this person is a very impatient person. This person <laughs> Okay, what what are more can we tell about the secrets here? The devil, okay? And the magician here at the bottom here. Definitely Virgo, Gemini energy. This could be another Virgo. This could be Gemini energy here, okay? But with the magician here at the bottom, I feel like they are very impatient about this pursuit with you in this present moment, Virgo. They are actively trying to manifest you back. Um, trying to pursue and manifest you back very, very, very hard. And I feel like I can get that energy because the devil shopped popped up in this energy right next to the temperance okay it's like um somebody's obsessing over an angel you feel me that's what i heard um we got a devil and an angel here oh shit we got a devil and an angel here this devil is pursuing you virgo wanting to come in for um some type of reunion and again with the illusions i feel like this person puts up the illusion that they give off angelic energy here with the with the temperance they're kind of had a, t a impatient angel but in the reality the the illusions behind that is this person is very toxic this person is very lustful this person has a lot of toxicities and um lustful energy around sex around love affairs um <laughs> and around being impatient about getting sex again with this pursuing energy i feel like they want to pursue you to get this lustful energy from you virgo not gonna lie what's going on in the present moment between virgo and this person that they need to know about what is going on in this present moment between virgo and this person that they need to know about okay what is going on uh, the Ace of Cups came out and the Five of Cups. What's going on in this present moment, Virgo, with the Ace of Cups? I feel like this person wants to spark new romance. This person wants to deepen the connection in this present moment, but they still feel this regret, this um, this regret over the past, the disappointments over the past year. I feel like in this present moment, they want to offer this to you, but they're looking at everything um, logically here. Again, with Gemini energy, they are looking at everything logically here. And know that there are disappointments and toxicities in the past that they are going to have to 
um, oh and app for here and I feel like this is what's keeping them patient even though they are in it very impatient person they don't know how to come in here because there are regrets here honey there are some shit in the talk present moment that is keeping them from offering this new love for you okay and i'm having the inclination that is the past with the ace of swords here at the bottom this is the truth honey um what's going on here at the present moment there it is with the king of swords what did i tell you about gemini energy definitely gemini a bit aquarius energy very swords logical energy um that i'm getting from this person here they are definitely showing up as a king here a king who has high standards who controls their emotions who um tries to think t intelligently but has present toxicities honey they are actively they may show up in this present moment as a king but they are secretly the the knight of wands in the reverse look i flipped it and it still came out in reverse okay you see what i'm saying here this is this is what their secret is in this present moment they still have these toxicities that they know will bring in more regret and um <laughs> disappointment here so they are holding back virgo they are holding back virgo what can we tell and with the healing card at the bottom i feel like they're holding back so you can heal they feel like if they give you time you can heal and then they can come in and be on their fuck shit um, with the world cycle here, I'm seeing Virgo. I was just about to ask her how you feel about this person. And it's like, baby, you already closed out this chapter to this situation. That's what I'm getting off top intuitively, Virgo. <laughs> okay, but let's see. Let's see. Let's pull some cards to see what spirit can tell us about how you feel about this King of Swords. How does Virgo feel about the King of Swords in this present moment, baby? What did I say? You ended at a cycle with this person because you feel like they're uh, some type of backstabbing betrayer, betrayer energy here, Virgo. Okay, so they can pursue you all they like. They can have all these secret fantasies. I feel like they are um, obsessing over you uh, right now, Virgo. I feel like this person is obsessed, baby. Mm, obsessed because... Um, of their passion how passionate they are you probably are a very good looking virgo and you got this person looking at you like prey um <laughs> how does virgo feel about this person with the tower mm -hmm. how does virgo feel about this person there it is and we go stop there we go stop there oh wow oh wow Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, and there's more. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, let's get into this energy. Bay, bay. Here we go. Virgo, how you feel about this king of swords? You feel like this king of swords betrayed you during a tower moment in your life, okay? You could have already been going through a tower and you met this king of wands and then they betrayed you on top of that, okay? You could have been telling them that you just got backstabbed. You could have been telling them that something happened in your life and you were in a fucked up Boom. I'm angry now, okay? I'm angry. I'm feeling the energy here. You could have told this person, this King of Swords, when you met them that uh, you were just backstabbed or you were going through a tower moment. And I feel like they either backstabbed you on top of a tower moment or they brought a tower moment in after you were backstabbed. Okay. Anyways, I feel like um, justice was served in the situation. Okay. Justice was served definitely in the situation. I feel like the justice for this person was here in the beginning okay was here in the beginning with the wounded wounded warrior energy and then putting in hard work and all this responsibilities all these burdens being attacked having to set boundaries and then still having it not work out having it not be uh victorious here for them i feel like that was their karma here spirit really came down on that ass um and then this this made them want to break down the barriers towards you honey this made them want to um have quick movement towards you have some quick communication towards you pursue your energy in some way and with the strength card again i said this was some type of leo energy before with the sun coming out and then we got strength here really representing leo energy energy um this person this king of wands leo sagittarius gemini uh, 
Aerie, Gemini, I can't even say it, Libra and Aquarius energy here may have some type of Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They may have fire in their chart, heavily aspected, again with the King of Wands energy. I feel like Knight of Wands, King of Wands is the secret energy that this person presents, okay? But they want to show everybody off as this, um, they want to show and present everybody as this King of Wands energy, somebody who's logical and in control. But baby, you take action on your wand here. This is a person of action who, um, um, has a high confidence who um, uses their ability and their strength to I was gonna say pursue people okay anyways here but with the moon and the emperor I feel like Virgo this is really symbolizing that this this is the energy that you got from this person how you felt about them was that karma got them and now this is what gave them the strength to move forward and take action here but before they had a lot of hidden illusions here a lot of hidden illusions and secrets here and they were some type of controlling energy for you virgo this energy this um emperor energy i'm not getting next to the moon honey i'm not getting a good feeling um about a secretive emperor okay i'm not getting a a, a good energy from a, a an emperor who creates illusions okay that's not a good emperor this energy i'm getting from this emperor is a person who wanted to control you in such a way that keeps th that would keep things hidden this person wanted to control you in such a way that they can keep things hidden they can keep secret love affairs they can keep side pieces they can keep illusions up on you and control the situation this is a very dominant energy virgo and not in a good way here okay this is how i feel that you feel about this person <sighs> okay and now that we got that out, babe, let's ask Spirit's advice for you in this situation here. I'm going to go with some Glow Bay. She always steers me right. I have a great relationship with my Glow Bay. So, Spirit, what is your advice for Virgo? Well, look at that. We got rebirth and transformed, Virgo. Okay. They just wanted to be out. What is your advice for Virgo? <laughs> okay i'm not shuffling anymore i'm not shuffling anymore because rebirth here is at the bottom again i think it's pretty fucking clear what spirits advice for the situation is okay with unexpected blessing is and use your will to say no virgo i feel like spirits advice is that on that say no to this person okay because you see them as somebody who's domineering and has a bunch of secrets and they are secretive about what they do and how they're impatient and how they're toxic and their secret love affairs and how they're um they got sexual addictions okay they got sexual addictions um <laughs> Mm, unfortunately that's a lot of our uh masculine energy that i've been reading for for the virgos but uh i feel like virgo you need to use your will to say no to this person and as soon as you do this will be able to allow you to rebirth and transform your life scorpio energy here you could have scorpio in your chart virgo um this will allow you to really transform your life put it into the situation and i feel like when you do baby an unexpected a blessing will come your way. This will put you in alignment to get the abundance that you have been waiting for. Okay, so don't let this person hold you up. Don't let this energy stop you from what you're doing. And uh, take this as it resonates, honey. We all have free will, and free will and choices here. So this is just my advice and spirit's advice. All right, take it as it resonates here. Please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next. Whatever it goes, and you know, you already know. I am very grateful for you watching.